Grip socks are great, and now they're even better with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Better fit, moisture wicking, amazing comfort, and all the extra grip you need. Choose from 10 different colors for just $16.99 a pair at puregripsocks.com. Here's why you shouldn't buy and probably don't need a pair of soft ground football boots. The main reason why we wear football boots in the first place is to have proper traction depending on the plane surface. And in the world of football boots, you're typically going to find three different types of stud patterns. For natural grass, you have SG, which is soft ground, exactly what I'm holding here. And you also have FG, which stands for firm ground, which is a slightly firmer type of natural grass by far the most common. You're also going to find for artificial grass an AG stud pattern, which as the name would suggest, is designed for use on artificial plane surfaces. In the case of a soft ground stud pattern, the vast majority of them are going to have six metal studs, typically removable, two positioned in the heel, four in the forefoot. Sometimes it's just those six studs alone, but a lot of modern football boots have these mixed layouts where in between the metal studs, you have some longer molded plastic studs as well to give it more of a look and feel of a firm ground stud pattern. And depending on which league you're watching in which part of the world, you might find that some of your favorite players wear soft ground stud pattern football boots, which obviously means that you wanna wear them too, but you probably shouldn't, and here's why. Now, of course, if you legitimately do play on soft natural grass, then you absolutely should go out and get a pair of soft ground football boots. However, I will give one piece of advice along with that recommendation, and that is if you do intend on getting a pair of soft ground football boots, they should not be your only pair. Because unless you legitimately play on soft natural grass every single time you play, which is very unlikely, you're left with football boots that are not exactly well suited for other playing surfaces. Unlike firm ground boots, where you can wear them on soft ground and you can get away with wearing them on artificial grass, even if it's not necessarily recommended, soft ground boots are highly specialized and realistically should not be worn on anything that isn't soft natural grass not just because of the durability of the boots not just because of comfort reasons but also for your own physical safety wearing soft ground boots on any surface that isn't soft ground will legitimately put you at a higher risk of injury soft ground studs are longer and the reason why they're longer is to dig deeper into the soft ground in order to provide adequate traction if they don't have a place to dig in you're effectively just raising yourself on top of the playing surface creating instability creating stud pressure and long-term durability issues for your football boots. If the ground is not soft, you should not be wearing soft ground boots. And as for how to determine whether or not you need a pair of soft ground boots for the natural grass field that you're playing on, I think it's a matter of determining how wet the field actually is. If there's any type of visible dust because of how dry the ground is, you definitely don't need a pair of soft ground football boots. But if it regularly rains or the field is very well maintained and watered all the time and there's moisture in the plain surface where it's actually soft and the studs can dig deep into the ground, that's where you might want to consider a pair of soft ground boots, but even then it isn't entirely necessary. If you're wearing FG boots and you're finding that you aren't slipping, it probably isn't necessary to get a pair of soft ground boots. But if you're wearing FG boots and you're finding that you're slipping a lot because of the plain surface being very wet and kind of on the loose side, then definitely some soft ground boots with some longer studs that dig into the ground a little bit deeper will benefit you, which is why these should not be your only pair of football boots. They should be a pair of boots that you keep in your bag for when the conditions are perfect for a soft ground stud pattern. Soft ground football boots should be a plan B rather than a plan A. Keep them in your bag and use them only when you need them. And one more thing, I do wanna clarify one gigantic misconception when it comes to soft ground football boots, and that is the fact that the metal studs are typically removable, and there are companies that sell replacement studs that are made from plastic, which people automatically assume converts a soft ground football boot into a firm ground football boot, and that is simply not true. More often than not, even once you replace the metal studs for plastic ones, you're still gonna be left with a stud pattern where the studs are longer than the average F boot which doesn't necessarily make them ideal for use on firm natural grass in regards to stud pressure as well as overall stability and it certainly doesn't make them suitable for use on artificial grass just because you don't have metal studs under your feet anymore you also have to consider the durability aspect of the football boots where soft ground studs are not designed to have these harsh impacts 
on the screw in points where the metal studs actually attach to the football boot. So if you're stomping around on a harder playing surface, that's a ton of stress on the screw in points. And if your studs loosen a little bit, which they will, if the ground isn't super soft, all it takes is for the stud to loosen slightly and then for you to put your weight down and basically strip the threads where now you have a pair of football boots where there's a hole where the stud can no longer screw into because again, you're wearing them on a plain surface that they were not intended for. The only reason why you should be replacing your metal soft ground studs for plastic ones is if the league you're playing in does not allow for metal studs for safety reasons, but you still want the benefit of a soft ground stud pattern because you're legitimately playing on soft ground, in which case, by all means, swap in the plastic ones and you're gonna get the benefits of a soft ground stud pattern with, of course, studs that follow the rules of the league that you're playing in. So to summarize what we've learned today, soft ground studs are for soft ground and nothing more. Stay safe out there.